Hello everyone, CPAT here with another Yomi 2 video, and I guess we're just kind of in our red era because we keep rendering red. This time we've got red on the degray, so I mean, this is cool. We're, red is one of our gems that we haven't played a whole lot. We do think it's pretty good, but um, that was a good time to test it, right? Uh, so far, I pretty much prefer white on degray just for repeated use of Super 2. Um, but I mean, red could be cool, right? We're gonna block the slow. Okay, fine. Nice overhead, Janet. I work against Janet. Um, let's go ahead. Power these up for two bar. Fought Janet quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. We've already we have fought Janet quite a bit. Um, I don't know if she's. I don't think she's beaten us yet. But maybe this is her opportunity to get in, as we don't really know what we're doing with the. Uh, with the red to gray just yet, she played medium high attack when I'm playing a fireball character. What a read. What a read from her, right? We're just gonna block again. Uh, she's playing. What the heck? She had C to D? <laughs> what is going on? I'm just getting beat up. I'm just getting beat up. She's down to three cards. She had C into D. She saved the D. What is... I'm just getting rushed down. I'm getting... <laughs> I was getting beat up. I was getting beat up here. Oh, my... She gets the grappling mastery value, too. Gets two throws out of it. That's so tough. That's so tough to deal with. I mean, we're playing to gray. This is what, like, rushed down before she draws a fireball. Uh, she powers up both her throws. Do we think she has another throw? Like, probably not. Like she went for D into the flurry punches. I'm pretty sure she's not going to expect this throw, though. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. okay. uh, yeah. No one expects that throw, because that's our third throw there. Um, okay. So. Can then go, like, D, E into. Well, she's single palm. Um, maybe let's go ahead and think about exchange for a throw. She's also kind of mitigating our uh, our high ground stuff here. Um, or more high ground, or innate. Sorry, we're just a little bit thrown off here. Just from this raw aggression here from Janet. Let's go for the mix-up, by the way. Okay, we got it. Uh, let's just go D into E here. Build that third gauge. And I guess this is the kind of game we're going to be playing. It's kind of very sloppy. Uh, she powers up the single palm. Surely she does not have the dragon form. Oh my god, does she really have the dragon form? Do we really believe that Jen has the dragon form here? Um, it's kind of just very sloppy, a slobber knocker game style. The problem is she's playing Midori, so at some point she'll just replace her hand with a new hand, and we're just kind of stuck on this really bad one. Um, I think we're just meant to block. Okay, good. Okay, this is better. Um, do we need our low? We probably do need our low block sometime. Let's go ahead and exchange this for low block. What's our hand even? Her hand is like dragon form and one unknown card. Um, so we're just like meant to block here again, right? Like, there's no reason to do. Anything else? She has the dragon form, she has it, right? She has, oh, her hand is burst in one other card. I mean, what the heck? Her hand is burst in one other card. Jenny, what is this tomfoolery? Well, this is a, this is definitely a game, right? This is definitely a game. Yeah, and there's the burst. Obviously, we're not gonna let her get value out of that. I was gonna go into the throw here. Get the knockdown. She drops A, brings back her low block. Okay, that makes sense. Um, surely she's just gonna lead with the low block, right? Or does she really have the dragon form? This is the question. This is the question. I'm thinking we block once, and then on her turn we throw her again. She's not gonna expect this throw. I'm thinking we block once and then uh, throw her on her turn. Uh, although she's knocked down, we really should be just throwing here, huh? 
But what if this is just dragon form, right? If it is dragon form, why didn't she play it on her turn? On our previous turn, she played purple burst instead? Could this really be the dragon form? Am I willing am I willing to spend one turn to check? I think I am willing to spend one turn to check. What if we spend one turn to check with the ghost post? No, let's just let's just Oh, it was the dragon form. Huh. Okay, Janet. Okay, Janet, this is um okay. Um might as well just hop holes here, I think. Uh, we do have the burst in hand for a bad situation. Attack Crusher is a funny card now. It like beats her quick low and light like, low attacks. Um, so she might be incentivized to go for an overhead here. So we'll block high. I suppose, maybe we'll dodge actually. Oh wait. What are we dodging? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. What are we dodging? Okay. <laughs> whoops. Whoops. Kind of forgot. How, kind of forgot how dragon orals work for a second, and that they all can't be dodged. Whoops. Uh, it's a new roar. Fine. I mean, I hate it, but she dropped her A. That's the most inconsequential drop I think ever. Exchanges throw for low block. Okay. Uh, what's our Overhead situation looking like? Our overhead situation looks like we have two overheads left. Oh, we didn't... I'm pretty sure she doesn't think we have the throw in hand, though. Uh, because we just didn't exchange for it. But maybe... Maybe that's really suspicious that we didn't exchange for it. Um, I don't know. What's her behavior been like? She dragon formed on her wake up. So I can't really extrapolate too much information from that. Um... And then she blocked an our turn, but she could just be blocking, like, Final Arbiter, right? Um, but I still think this throw is, like, pretty unexpected. Yeah, okay, there it is. And we just convert here. I'm feeling like we just do. It'll be plus, it'll be 24 extra damage. That's pretty good. Like I said, that throw is, like, super unexpected, I think. Um, so happy with that. Uh, she loses one bar again, which is good for us. Oh, let's go ahead, exchange E for throw. Do we just Tyrant Crusher her here? How how baller would that be? Just Tyrant Crusher. Oh man, I really want to Tyrant Crusher her. Oh man, it's not good, but I'm gonna I wanna do it. I think we paired with the jump storm as well. Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> Oh, that feels so good. Our stars are linkers. We don't even care, but we've lethal off this. Uh, oh, and she's just like dead anyway. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, not bad. Game 1 goes to us. Not bad at all. I mean, it always is nice to read every single dragon form correctly. Um, she didn't expect us to have the fourth throw, which we kind of had to suss out there for a bit. Um, but that's like, why would we not exchange? But I guess we were making mistakes all game there. Wait, she powers up two throws for Super 1, looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. And also, her tomfoolery in the early game definitely did not pay off. We were... Uh, we were, like, very... Just very good. Um, drops two throws. Does she really have the third throw? I feel like this beats... No, it doesn't beat a lot of her range, because she's just, like, gonna overhead me. Or something. Six her convictions. She did have third, third, third. Okay, cool. whatever. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to deal with hands like that. It's like, well, I'm taking twenty damage here, but she's going for this low hand strategy again. I'm not really sure if I approve of it, but approve of it. Like I'm a disapproving father. Like, come on, it's fine. Uh, probably exchange. No power up in this hand. Gross. Probably exchange this for a low block. Um, we block low, thinking she might single pop this turn. It goes for overhead. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, guess we're gonna have to do like. Guess we're gonna have to do a, uh, a little bit of 
I guess she maybe she maybe she has the grappling mastering hand. Okay, she does. Never mind. This is a very interesting style. Just to get, well, not very interesting. It's just like <laughs> annoying to deal with. It's like I just wish I had white gem, or I wish I drew my fireball. Hey, any danger of drawing a fireball? Literally, if I had an early fireball, she would not be able to play like this. Which is super annoying to deal with. Apologies, I'm eating some mangoes. Uh, I don't know what's your favorite fruit chat. Let me know in the comments below. I feel like I don't get the audience involved enough with um, comment questions. So I don't, I don't know, chat. What's your favorite fruit? Wait, what? Do we, what block do we drop? Drop the high block. She picked up her throwback. Kind of feeling like this is the play. Mm, any danger of purple burst? Not really. No bar. Did we just do that? Actually, <laughs> okay. We beat the throw, uh, and we're done. Let's go ahead, get our low block back. Um, still no power up. Um, still no power up. Surely she doesn't have another overhead, right? Oh, she has another throw. Ugh, okay. Fine. It's a very annoying, like, um... Drag you in the mud with me style, huh? That I'm fighting against here. Um... What did she burp back? She surely just brought back a throw, right? What did she drop for it? She dropped heavy high for a throw. Um, well, like A looks really good for her here. Um, maybe this is the turn that she just blodges, though. Surely she doesn't hit me with the A. Phase out. Okay, good. Good catch by us there. Or uh, finally we draw a fireball. Okay, finally we can. We can beat her entire range. Oh, let's exchange this for that. Still no power up. Oh, we do have power up. Oh, we have power up. We have power up Fs. Okay, cool. Order. We finally drawn the fireball. Yeah, okay. Mm, I hate how she's only two cards behind. It's just the... Just Midori, man. Like, I... Like, this, this playstyle could be just very easily countered. Just had I drawn fireball. Such as the... Such is the plight of Yomi too, man. Like sometimes you only have two answers to like a certain playstyle, right? Wow, just sending it the full send. I like it. Um, and it's just like, well, also the full send when I have when I'm playing DeGray, huh? It's a pretty spicy play, Janet. So I'll say that much. Um, order of speeds. Uh, so she could have C. What are the chances she has the fourth C? What if we just red burst out? Um. I mean, ideally we should just block low. What if it's the fourth throw? What if if it's the fourth C? Then I just say GG, like nasty draw. I think. Right. Okay, it's the fourth C, GG, nasty draw, I guess. Okay, I mean, what can you do, right? Uh, maybe we'll make a comeback, though. This game's not over. This game is not close to being over. Um, hello, I need... What is this hand? What is this hand? This hand sucks. It's so bad. Have to do that. Have to do that. Wow, really? Okay. Ow. Okay, this is uh. Well, sometimes you just lose every read, right? Sometimes you just lose every read. Drop E, pick up C. Oh, yeah, I'm knocked down still. Um, I guess I should exchange the F, right? I guess I should exchange the F. Well, she could just, like, 
absolutely just destroy me here. Um, okay. Start the, the comeback starts now. The comeback starts now. Mm. Change E for F. Power of F's. Block. Change E for F. Power of F's. Two bar. Block the reverse here. Pair with the jump storm. Okay. So far so good. Um well we're not out of this, right? We're totally definitely not out of this game. Uh, this is what, a 22 damage pile bunker? Knocking her down as well. Changes dodge for D? The heck? She have power up? not have power up. She just, she just gets high low. The problem is we don't have the mix up. So maybe we just play uh, this? Maybe we just play fireball actually. Okay. Just don't let her draw. Playing on a five card hand. Power bees get third bar. And this is for two. Um. What's her throw defense? Her throw defense is like. Hold on. Okay, so now we actually have to think how oh, we're getting lethal. What's her? What's her? If she thinks I'm throwing, what's she doing? She's playing Flurry Punches. No, she's not playing Flurry Punches. She's playing like A. She's playing a normal. I'm playing super normal. So play Fireball. On our turn. Wait, no. What if her third offense is. What if her third offense is actually Flurry Punches? Be a little bit unexpected. Come out, beats the Fireball. I'm playing Daggerfall here to beat the Flurry Punches. Also performs really well against block. Gives us edge. Ah, she got me. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Can I draw a fireball, please? Can I draw a fireball, please? I guess we were meant to just fireball there and then on our turn play some random thing. No power for her. That's good. Six door convictions. There we go, finally. <laughs> We're not gonna be power these though. <laughs> One bar and super two. We're not gonna be dragged into the mud here. Okay. We're not gonna be dragged into the mud here. Um I'll go for a cheeky dagger fall here. Beat the throw. Dodge. Huh. I well, was not expecting dodge, I'll say that much. Yeah. Dodge with a second E. Gross. Literally, all three of these games will be so much easier had I drawn my fireball in the first turn. It's what I hate about Yomi 2. Like, there's there are claims out there that the draw variance in Yomi 2 is not as bad as the draw variance in Yomi 1, but literally three games, no no early fireball. What the heck, man? Um Probably because you see a similar number of cards that you do. In Yummy 2, you see a similar number of cards that you do in Yummy 1. It's like over time it averages, right? But there's also like the whole, um, like, uh, less amount of turns thing as well. And it's just like, I feel like the, the claim that, uh, draw variants in Yummy 2 is like way better than draw variants in Yummy 1 is just not correct. I think I'm gonna red burst here. Okay, good. Yeah. 
I just like I just don't agree with that claim at all. Um, I'm gonna power throws. We're gonna get two bar. We're gonna exchange this for throw. Block low. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Drops D, picks up E. I don't. Is Janet doing like a challenge where she only has to, where she can only hit with certain normals? Like games one and games two were. Sorry, games one and two were like C and D, and now game three is like, uh, yeah, try to hit with C or try to hit with E this many times, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, no exchange for throw is pretty spicy. Uh, she could have second throw in hand. Wouldn't be surprised. Um, let's actually take a look at the discard here. B D E. She she keeps she keeps she keeps getting E back. Um, Dutch throw. I just meant to block low until something cool happens. Maybe I meant to ghost repost this actually. Ghost repost into just the final arbiter. We've not we've not played a ghost repost all game. Wait, ghost repost EF final arbiter. Wait, we have not played a ghost repost all game. Ghost, sure, surely one of these ghost repost will will do the trick. There it is. A. <laughs> gotcha. What is exactly with A for? <laughs> Let's go EF final. E, F, final. That's gonna be big damage, plus six on that as well. Now we have their lead, lead. We're, we're drawing two cards on our turn as well. We're feeling good. That's the first uh, Ghost Repost we've used all game as well. Uh, power up throws. Uh, we get one bar in Final Arbor. Exchange dodge for throw. Fireball. Um, jump Storm. Nice Fireball. Yep. We've drawn our fireball, Janet, so you gotta you gotta change the strategy somehow, right? You've drawn the fireball, so the strategy has to change for her. Uh surely this uh this like mud dragging he will not last for too much longer. Mm, the only thing we have to do be a little bit concerned about is possibility of burst this turn. So I think I am gonna block. Gonna block low still. Perfect. Perfect catch there. Perfect catch. Um, is there something there? We can jump storm, maybe. Change for F. Exchange D for F and jump storm. Do we just play the F? Change the and fireball, maybe. Change the ref, um, because she's keeping the wrong block. Jump storm, fireball. She might burst this. Don't really care too much, I think, if she does. Okay, totally fine. That's a chip right there, right? Pressure's on, Janet. Pressure's on. Um, throw final arbiter is now lethal into a block. Might Loki consider hitting with raw F? Let's lead raw F. Um, yeah, there it is. Raw F ghost final arbiter. And that's just game right there. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. There. Assist. All right, oh. GG's Janet. Uh, we refuse to be dragged through the mud. I think is the is the lesson from this uh, from this game. We refuse to be dragged through the mud. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the Yummy Two content. We stayed for, we stayed strong. We stayed firm with our ideals. We were playing red to gray, um, so I don't really think that strategy was very good into Red to Gray. We just didn't really draw our fireballs, but it is what it is. We, we got through it in Game 3. Uh, game 3 especially was uh, very, very good for us. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the Yuma 2 content. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you did. I believe that was episode 42, so we're really churning these out at a good rate. Uh, maybe we'll get to episode 50, I don't know, by the, the start of next week or something. But hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. 
Uh, I think what I asked, what is your favorite fruit as a comment question? I don't know. I don't know how many people are actually going to comment it, but let me know. Eating some mangoes are now really enjoying them. But anyways, guys, until next time, take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.